Female genital mutilation was known to be the only way to make girls transit to adulthood. The anti-FGM drama festival organized by the Interreligious Council of Kenya featured stirring performance including plays that vividly depicted the struggles faced by women and girls who have undergone FGM. We concentrated on uh, those prone areas, uh, the Somali community, the Ma community, the Kisi, the Kuria, who are really practicing this. And as a faith community, we are coming together to say no to female genital mutilation. And so this is the campaign that we are doing, sensitizing the communities that would not want to see our girls mutilated. We want to see our girls enjoy their lives in totality. The government through the Ministry of Health is playing an active role to ensure FGM practice is brought to an end. Around 4 million or one in five women and girls have been subjected to FGM in the country. There is some small lacuna, ridiculous as it may sound, of saying this is sunnah. Sunnah meaning a, a tradition, an Islamic tradition that's acceptable. It's a very weak one. No one has a strong basis for supporting it. Sunnah is something that is encouraged, but nowhere did the Prophet of Islam, his, his companions, and the great scholars of Islam. In fact, many scholars have written a subject about it, even current scholars, but they shy away from saying, stop it. So what our message is, we are fighting all forms. No child should, or girl child should be circumcised, whatever the form. Compliance, full compliance with the law. Speaking during the event, Somaliland Ambassador to Kenya, Mohammed Barwani, said the practice has brought more harm to women, especially in his homeland in Somaliland. We encourage uh, a greater cooperation, all civil society, interreligious council, schools, government of Kenya, international partners, you know, everyone to contribute. Because of this is uh, an issue that affects the, the wider society. It's not the issue that limited to one place and another, but say it's an issue that affects the whole and East African community, in African society, in Somalis, in Kenyans, everybody. So we need as a as a people here an interreligious council who I thank his money for them to organize these events. The event was used to raise awareness for the school-going children who are the most vulnerable to the practice.